Can you tell me what you based most of your decisions on in the past? Have you ever taken the time to consider what types of reasons caused you to make the decisions you made? You see, we all think we make decisions based on objective reasoning. However, this may be far from the truth because most of us make decisions based on decisions we already made based on reasons we already believe are rational. This is when motivated reasoning, or what I call pre-reasoning, causes some of us to jump to conclusions for reasons we clearly haven't considered and may later deeply regret. Motivated reasoning can become the tripwire that causes our decisions to fall like dominoes. So let's objectively investigate how to detect and avoid motivated reasoning. And welcome to Four C's One Family. Motivated reasoning is a thinking process that causes many of us to remain unaware of our bad decisions or admit that we made a mistake which in the end often causes us to be afraid to make up our minds. A psychological shield called confirmation bias, if allowed, can place a barrier between what is factual and what we want to or already believe. Confirmation bias searches for reasons that only confirm what we already believe in an attempt to dampen or eliminate any opposition to our way of thinking or, in this case, reasoning, so we can then logically arrange them to prove that our reasons for any conclusions we made were correct. Confirmation bias can also cause us to think more critically about any reason that doesn't support our way of thinking instead of objectively analyzing opposing views. So as a result, we falsely assume other people feel the same way we do. Motivated reasoning is often done subconsciously. However, it's frequently purposely used to hide weaknesses. For example, by using the same evidence an opponent has. Someone with motivated reasoning may be able to persuade people to believe only how they interpret the evidence. This may be why some politicians rely on and use loaded language to develop motivated reasoning in the minds of their supporters to promote or selectively hide facts. So we must ensure that our conclusions are backed up by reasons that aren't rooted in foggy assumptions or weak foundations that fall like a stack of cards when under pressure. Motivated reasoning only prevents us from objectively referencing facts that may cause others to feel that we are unfair, discriminatory, or simply unreasonable. The reasons why someone has motivated reasoning can become sensitive on many levels, and there are just too many reasons to explain briefly why. However, here are just a few. A belief in a political party and its policies bad past experiences that may consist of injustices like classism, racism, and sexism, an unwavering belief in a charismatic individual, a religion, or a conspiracy theory, and or concerns like a fear of being controlled by someone or a group, a fear of missing out, known as FOMO, or fear of being kicked out of a group we want to remain a member of. And the list goes on and on. In fact, the list is endless. Motivated reasoning occurs when we only want to justify the reasons for the conclusions we prefer without being willing to compare our points of view with others without biases. Here are a few things you can keep in mind to eliminate or, at the very least, minimize it. Find out what your motivated reasoning is based on. If your reasoning is based on an apprehension or fear, check if internal or external pressures are causing the fears. If it is because of internal pressures, seek advice from different trusted acquaintances. And remember to include some who agree and disagree with you and then compare notes. 
it is because of external fears, distance yourself from influences that may be pressuring you to see only one side of a situation. This will prevent or at the very least lower the amount of influence someone has on you so you can think and compare freely and objectively. Avoid making sudden decisions when under a short deadline, in an emotional state, or under extreme pressure. Making sudden decisions in these states is like sprinting down a road without being able to see side to side or behind you. You might remain naive or unaware of your environment, which may cause you to make decisions that could harm yourself and others. If you are selected to make decisions for those with other concerns and opinions, you must be willing to walk a thin line. When making decisions for a large group with members with different views, it's impossible to please everyone. Take advantage of the time and assistance from people you can trust and rely on who aren't yes men or yes women because their advice can help you recognize unethical judgments. Gather as much information as possible to justify your decision based only on available facts without favoring any group. The reality is someone will criticize you for any decision you make. You are entitled to your own views, but you are not entitled to your own facts. U.S. Senator Daniel Patrick Morahan, 1983. Please listen to my episode about loaded language and how it may be used to promote it. Thank you for joining us here at Four Seas One Family. Please subscribe and download our podcast. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world, because we have a lot more in common than we think.